for the first few hours of the enemy's offensive, we managed to hold our positions. We were even starting to be a little bit optimistic. Due to our tanks, we were able to inflict terrible blows on the enemy. Well, they adapted, and this time they were ready to fight our tanks. Hello there, and welcome to turn number 3 of our Typhoon Rising campaign and Gravity Team Tactics Muse Front. If you remember the first two turns, I think we did exceptionally well in those. We were lucky enough to basically completely demolish three enemy infantry focused battle groups in the first turn and two more infantry battle groups in the second turn. So the enemy has at this point lost five battle groups that were full of high quality infantry. Maybe, maybe we already decided the outcome of this campaign in the first two turns. We will see though, so far I did not see any really heavy weapons from the enemy and I'm sure he has some, so I guess they will bring those now to smash through our lines. Let me show the briefing for turn number three. So if we look at this, this was the historical situation on that day at 4 p.m. German battle groups reached southwest outskirts of Koklovka, so this basically counts as the southwest outskirts, and launched an attack on Czerwonoe, down here. Four tanks of the 150th Tank Brigade ambushed the enemy on the way to Czerwonoe and knocked out four enemy tanks. In fact, they destroyed a truck, having lost one own tank. So that's a nice little information here. Um, the <laughs> The 150th Tank Brigade, this is our T-34s most likely, they reported that they engaged enemy tanks and knocked out four of them somewhere in this area here. While in fact what they did engage was probably some infantry, they destroyed a the truck and somehow lost one of their own tanks, possibly due to anti-tank gunfire. A rifle company reinforced with machine guns, probably from the cavalry divisions of Group Ermakov, counterattacked and cut the road Bereja Gremiaczka. That road is somewhere off the map here. Thus, the 10th Recon Battalion of the 10th Motorized Infantry Division, located in the Gremiaczka area, was cut off from the main forces of the division. So we have some isolated enemy Germans in Gremiaczka over here. 121st Tank Brigade began withdrawing to Sopich area the brigade loses 15 tanks. Oh, that's not good. At 4.30, the Group Ermakov headquarters began moving to a new command post in the Kinel area. Communication with it was lost. First and second guards motor, uh, motorized rifles transferred to Sevsk. Okay, so the Group Ermakov, they decided to bug out. Uh, I'm part of that group. So... We are losing contact with our command. What will this mean in practical terms? I don't know. But this is the situation that we find ourselves in. As we can see, some troops are digging in. Some are completely exhausted. This unit here, um, this is an allied unit. If they don't get out of here, they will be destroyed. One of my tanks was a bit repaired. That's nice. Some ammunition is being distributed in the back lines here. I would love to have that ammunition on the front line. Ah, we are not getting it, aren't we? No. So here's something interesting happened. No idea how, but I guess an enemy group made it behind our lines. Most likely one of the um, battle groups that we completely mauled down here has reformed in this area. That's a possibility. I will ignore this for now, because if this is only one enemy unit, it alone cannot do much. First of all, let's see my T-34s. You are terribly low on ammunition. Here we have still the T-34 that got heavily damaged in the first battle. It is still damaged and needs to be in a repair shop. Also, they are running very low on ammunition. Only the third, the second tank platoon, they are still kind of okay. I will reinforce the first platoon with a T26 from the reserve. 
I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that for now. I could also reinforce them with the um, armored car, the BA-20. Might not be a bad idea, to be honest. Yeah, let's bring in the armored car. And I could bring in a recon platoon. The recon platoon is stretched thin, to be honest. Hmm, <laughs> what do we do? Do I bring in the recon platoon with the tanks, or do I bring in the recon platoon with the infantry forces? I think we can bring one recon platoon together with the tanks. Will I bring it to the T-50s or to the T-34s, though? I think the T-50s will have the honor. Yeah, we'll do that. Third recon platoon, you are with the T-50s now. Will I move anything from their positions right now? I will move this repair unit back, so that I can move it up this road towards Koklovka. And on the way they might be able to capture these two victory points. So we'll start that movement. When I get them on the road, I hope they will be able to move a bit faster. Let's see. Are you guys mobile? I could give you trucks, right? No, I can't. Why not though? That would be nice. Never mind then. Then let's keep it like this. You guys, can I reinforce you with mobility? No. Shame. Maybe you already have trucks. That's a very big, uh, very real possibility. You, I will start to move north. Because we are getting out of here. If we take another look at the historical situation, we can see that at this time of the day, the Soviets were doing much worse than I am. Um, the Germans had already captured Jolkovshina and were advancing on Chadwanoy, being stopped temporarily by the tanks. And they were also already in Koklovka. Oh, that's... That's bad. If they decide to go for Koklovka here, there's a little I can do to stop them. What could happen here? So we have two battle groups here. I don't know if these are fresh or maybe if a battle group reformed that was previously demolished. They could attack towards Olkovshina and try to take that. Then we have four battle groups in this area that could try to push up this road or this road over here. They could come up on my infantry. I have T-50s nearby, but will that be enough? I don't know. We'll see. I will leave everything as is, everything else, and we'll just go to the next turn and see what happens. Cross your fingers. Jesus Christ, I'm lucky. How am I so lucky? Once again, two enemy battle groups, possibly three, although I'm not sure. There, there was a patch that updated some mechanics regarding the map border, so maybe these guys actually get to fight. However, they are up against a far superior force with tanks. This is amazing. And in fact, if we look down here, oh, this is an interesting development. The AI down here in the south is pulling back towards Chedvanoi completely, leaving my tanks and my infantry to hold the line, apart from a few guns that possibly can't move very fast. Okay, so we will have to pull back. We won't be able to stay here alone. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely think so. If you look here, this is indeed one of the enemy units that was demolished, I think. They reformed behind my line and are now moving south to cut off this corridor. Which I cannot allow them to do. But okay, let's go and fight this battle now. See you on the battlefield.
We find today ourselves with some um, interesting tactical opportunities. The map is quite divided by this forest here right in the middle and that forest over there. Also we have some more smaller forests. The enemy is deploying in this area here. Now where will they go? Will they try to go through this forest or through this gap here and advance towards the cemetery? Or will they try to advance northwards towards these two barns or maybe towards this hill here? We don't know. We don't know what the enemy has. So my first objective will be to make sure that I find out what they have and where they will have their focus. Once I know that, I can commit my tanks. My tanks are the T-50s. They are sitting here behind this hill, waiting until we have figured out what the enemy has, because I don't want to just charge these things in and get them killed by some heavy weapons. That wouldn't be ideal. My scouts are deployed here in front of my tanks. I hope that they will find the enemy. But for now, we will have some mortar strikes landing here near the crossroads. No idea if I will hit anything. Those are pre-scheduled. And the AI is doing something... Possibly attacking towards the crossroads? I hope not. Guys, please. Don't get yourself killed. Just why don't you stay defensive inside this lovely little forest here? Why are you running out on the road? No. This could be bad. This could be very bad. This could be so bad. But it could also be so entertaining, so let's watch. They are running out there. Singing, okay. That's my mortar shells landing. They are crossing the road. Where are you going? What is over there? Nothing really. Or maybe you want to go to here and then you will move north towards the crossroads? It's possible. And we're off. This group has found the enemy. Is being shot at. And once again because of the fog that we have, which will lift later on. We find ourselves very close to our enemies. So guys, um, maybe shoot back. Yeah, there we go. They are starting to shoot back, but I fear that it's too little too late. These guys will be routed. However, they did find an enemy infantry gun. Light infantry gun 18. Okay, if you... More than one, actually. But, um... Yeah, they also found a machine gun emplacement. And they are kind of surrounded. So this unit is gone. Multiple... Okay, yeah. Goodbye. Over here we too are finding some enemies. Enemies that have brought trucks. That's an interesting development. So, more infantry, I guess. Much more infantry. Jesus Christ, what did they run into this time? Artillery impacting in the background over there. Sadly, it is far away from being on target. And now the infantry guns seem to be involved here. This unit is doomed. There's nothing I can do to save them. They poked their nose out way too far. Okay, this unit here in the forest, they are advancing towards this enemy contact. We have actually found another gun on the road over there. What is that? Might be another light infantry gun. Um, actually, that's an anti-tank gun. Two anti-tank guns. Okay. So I... and these things are moving towards the crossroads. If they continue that way, then I know that charging my tanks through here is a bad idea. So let's not do that. Three guns. 
Okay. The enemy has an anti-tank gun battery. It's not good. Okay, here we have units retreating. I would have expected the retreat to happen over there. Now it is, I guess. Yeah. They are retreating now. A bit too late, I think. You have bitten off far more than you can chew. Yeah, you are retreating. Everybody is on the retreat here. Over here, what's happening? A lot of enemies inside this forest. Okay, I've set up my defenses in a way that I can cover the village. Um, there's a defense in front of the cemetery and I can pull back into the cemetery if required. We have a defense out here in the field. These men can too pull back into their houses if needed. And here, near this little farm, we have a kind of reverse slope defense going with uh, entrenched infantry. So I think we should be able to hold these positions. The real question is just where do I commit my... More guns? Anti-tank gun, yeah. I'm not committing my tanks on this side, I believe. Committing them on that side would be a bit foolish. Judging by what I've spotted so far. I could bring the tanks into here and help with the fight in the forest. The enemy will require some time to bring up anti-tank guns to the forest. So I feel that it's safe to do that. If I march my tanks through this area, can the anti-tank guns spot them? They can once the tanks get up to here. That gun even just fired. Okay. In that case, I'm holding my tanks back for the moment and I'm waiting for the enemies to make a move out of the forest. I have some plans for my right flank here. I have a whole company that I would love to get into the enemy's rear. Basically bring them over to here in this forest or in this forest. Due to the guns, I guess it will be this forest here. With a whole company established in that forest, I feel that the enemy will have a tough time and we can maybe make some nice maneuvers. Okay, everybody should be loaded in trucks. Well, almost everybody. Guys, find a truck, please. Don't be stubborn. There you go. Okay, yeah, everybody's mounted up. Okay, first platoon, you will, you will start to cross this area. Let's hope that you don't get stuck. Let's see, column formation, yes, please go fast. Smoke signals, wait, that means we have enemies near the barn. In that case, first company, change of objective, you are driving here. Drive to this barn, establish a position so that you can cover the crossing of the other platoons. Okay, right now the enemy is wasting a lot of ammunition destroying this force. Well, you can't really say that they are wasting the ammunition if they are effectively destroying that force, but yeah, you get what I mean. Another platoon of the AI is attempting to cross into that forest. I don't like that. I hope they stop here on the edge of this forest and maybe start fighting with the other enemies. Here we have a platoon advancing across this area coming up on an enemy truck and that truck will not have been empty actually they found a gun which is good if they take out a few of these anti-tank guns that will help me a lot I can do some nasty things with my T-50s if they clear up the way for those uh, 
Are the trucks progressing? Yeah, they are. They are moving through, that's good. Firefight in the distance is still raging. Two guns. At least two guns, that is. Could be more. And it looks as if the Germans are trying to get the guns to safety. It might be too late. This gun is taking losses. They already lost a few men to the PPS. Never mind. And yes, we absolutely do have enemies here. Not nice. That's not nice. More and more guns are becoming visible on the battlefield. We have quite the entire... Yeah, there's another one near the barn. Uh, that's not a good thing for these trucks, is it? No, no it's not. Can they spot these trucks? I guess they can. Oh. That's a lot of guns. I could... I have uh, two Maxim machine guns here. With, of course, a lot of infantry. They can put some pressure on those guns. Let's keep them ready. Three guns. Jesus Christ, that's a whole battery again. So I've already spotted at least three anti-tank gun batteries on this battlefield. I don't like this. And these trucks are crossing. Now I believe we need to fight. I believe we actually do need to fight. Let's see, where are you guys? You are in the trucks. Okay, this is the infantry formation that you're talking about here. And my machine guns are over here. I believe the guns are indeed shooting the trucks, so let's respond. If we can, that is. Let's not have the commander respond. Let's see if we need to bring the machine guns into better positions so that they can hit those things. Uh, should be in a decent position already. This one, however. This one needs to be brought up, I believe. Where is it? It's disassembled right now. Yeah, in that case. Move to the edge of this field and set up the machine gun. Okay. These guys are unloading. Possibly they have been fired upon. Or they uh, discovered the guns and are a little bit nervous about sitting inside the truck. Did I take losses? Don't tell me I have taken losses. Yes, I have taken losses inside the trucks. Okay. Damn it. Bring the trucks back. They're putting effective fire on this area. Yeah. The squad lost two guys. Now two squads lost two guys each. Well, I needed to risk it. But now what? Can I just walk them across without them being seen? I need to open a flank here. So this is what we'll try to do. One of the trucks has been destroyed, that's sad. I will have these guys crawl across. into the forest. Just go over there. Don't shoot. Stay hidden, if you can. 
Okay, since we have an anti-tank battery there, I need to bring an infantry close. So the time of this infantry platoon has come to move up here. You will move in a column formation. Move over there. And then you will attack these guys from close range. That's the only chance that you have to cause damage to them. This AI unit here is not doing too well. Damn it. I'm not sure if these guns are actually powerful enough to punch through my T-50s. They possibly are. If I put a tank up here at the edge of the forest, might have eyes on the battery and be able to engage. So we can try to move some tanks through the forest and get them into a firing position on the edge of the forest. Let's try that. Third platoon. You will... What's going on? Don't know which modifier is up. Ah, okay, there we go. Let's have these three T-50s advance into the forest. First platoon. I want you guys to stand by on this corner, basically. Commands, you will stay with them. Let's see if we can pull this off. These guys are crossing without any further losses, that's good. What are those guns doing though? Just sitting there for now. I'm fine with that. My goal right now is to just get these guys into position so that they can start to hammer away at those guns. And once the tanks are through the forest, I hope they can make it. It's not easy. Come on guys, don't cause a traffic jam here. A little bit of miscommunication, but that's fine. Apparently the tanks are able to move through the forest. I will get them into a nice position. I'll drive them up to the edge of the forest here where they can overlook the guns. And they will start to hammer those things. We have taken some captives somewhere. Here, that's good. Okay. That's a sliver of hope in an otherwise very bleak situation. The enemy is now advancing out of this forest and flanking this group. They are now under fire from both sides. It won't be long before they break. If that goes on. Hmm. Let's see what can I do with the other tanks. Move them through this grove here. And have them advance. Have them rush the guns basically. Could work. That could very well work. If they move through here, they won't be seen. Not really, no. But I'll wait with that until these tanks are in position. I need to start to decimate these anti-tank weapons. They are what's most dangerous right now. these guns shooting at. Oh! Who are you? You are the driver of a truck. Please... 
Why are they shooting you, of all things? You abandoned your truck somewhere. Here. Yeah, that's a bad place for a truck. Should have put that somewhere else. Another truck destroyed. Oh. Yeah, I see why. Ah, it doesn't matter. I have more than enough trucks. Trucks is really something that I have more than enough of. Okay, the tanks are almost in position. To start their movement towards the edge of the forest. And they will be told to prioritize the guns, of course. Come on, guys, hurry up a little bit. see you will go fast go there you will go fast go there and you're going fast to there At the same time this tank unit I want you guys to no I want you guys to fast move here and then I want you to I want you to move covertly actually to here. And same for these two tanks. You will fast move in here and then you will move covertly to there. You're prepared to rush those guns. Okay, this Infantry platoon is getting ready to engage the guns. That's exactly what I want to see. That's good Give him hell. I might now even advance another platoon across the field to hit the guns in their flank Especially These guys might now be of good use Yeah, I believe you will now serve me very well you are to advance across the field and you will assault those guns. Form up and go. Yes, I will lose some men. I just hope they can hold on long enough to do damage to the guns. Guns are engaging the tanks. Tanks, you are free to open up. Damn it, I double clicked. Didn't want to do that, come on. Give me command points. I need command points. Need this guy to open fire. There we go. And you guys will be told to engage that guy if possible. a little bit more. You too. Yeah, you still can't see anything. A little bit forward. Tank, turn that way. Please, for the love of God, don't show them side profile. Okay. Good, good, good. So far, so good. These tanks are getting in position. My AI ally is fighting, well, I won't say bravely, but they're fighting. We have a lot of enemies out here in the open. My tanks could mess them up so much right now, but yeah. They have to deal with this anti-tank gun infestation. Okay, this platoon has advanced across. Good to see. Let's have them 
be joined by another one. You guys. You are to go in here. And let's bring the Maxims up to where they can actually engage. Because their suppression could be what decides this. Their ability to suppress these targets could really be what decides this here. Tanks are advancing through. Emmy has more anti-tank guns on that edge of the forest. Ah, that's bad. That's actually bad. That will prevent my T-50s from rushing down these guns. We will have to just fight them in a regular way, basically. Okay, come on, assemble the Maxim, and please let it be within line of sight. They should be in line of sight. Assemble the machine gun, come on. Uh, machine guns, machine guns, machine guns, you... I want you to focus on these guns, if possible. I really need that suppression right now. Range is... Let's see... Oh, that's quite far actually, 750. Oh, wrong button. 750. They should be able to do it. Assemble it, come on. You did assemble it, now fire at them. Can you not see them? Are you, are you for real? Yeah, you should be able to see them. Why are you not engaging? That's not too far away for a machine gun. Or is it? Don't you really not see these guys? Do I have to bring you up to here? Well... In that case... Let's have them run forward, because I need these things. I really do. Okay, my tanks and the AT guns are now starting to engage each other, I believe. The tanks that I sent forward are in position to assault up this little hill. This could go so wrong if I do this. Let's see, what can I do? Oh, one of my tanks has finally picked up an anti-tank gun. And will engage. Yeah, there you go. Give it to them. I know you only have a 45mm gun. That doesn't produce much high explosive damage. But I hope it's enough. Do you have high explosive ammo though? A, P, A, G, and A, G. Yeah, you do. Engage them, suppress them, destroy them. They are smoking themselves. Oh yeah, this gun is messed up. Okay. My issue is that gun over there. That's what I'm afraid of. Because if I storm these tanks up here, he will get side shots at me. So I need to be extremely careful with that thing. Maybe I was sent in the command element down here, along the edge of the forest, into a flanking position, so they can focus down that gun. Well, that sounds reasonable. Where are you guys? There. Okay. Uh, stay close together. Advance. Advance to this position. And let's have all three tanks now on the edge of the forest, engaging whatever they can see. Oh, 
over here the situation is not under control. Yes, this platoon is engaging. And so far they are doing a stellar job. Really distracting these guns so much that I can take this platoon here. No, this platoon. And have them go directly into the enemy's flank. Good work. They are advancing. They're advancing slowly though. Let's turn off act with caution. Let's have them storm this position. You guys. I want you guys to... to get into this position here. Storm across. Take on the enemy's rear. Help this other unit. Are the Maxims in position? Finally, please, give me that suppression fire that I need. Where's the damn thing? Ah. Still hasn't arrived. Don't tell me you're exhausted or something like that. Are you assembling? You are assembling. Can you see those? Yes, you can. Please open up. There you go. Maxim is opening up. That's good. Maxims provide a lot of suppression because this thing can just keep shooting. Uh, not every round is a tracer round. So the tracers that you see, there's actually a lot more bullets going that way. <laughs> the second Maxim is arriving. Good, 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 good. Very good. We are now getting into a position where we are really starting to deal with these guys. Two anti-tank guns have established themselves over there. Ah, damn it! Yeah, I need to keep my tanks in reserve if that's the case. I cannot risk moving them up right now. Too many anti-tank guns. Uh, I don't know if I took care of these anti-tank guns that were over here, to be honest. It's possible. Is it possible that we have taken them all out? I somehow doubt it. There's one. There's another and there's another. Okay, yeah, maybe they are dead. Maybe they are all dead. In that case... In that case we will clear out this forest with these guns and this will enable us to put some flanking fire on these guns over there. But meanwhile the enemy is starting to break through on the left flank. Try to hold them back, please. Yeah, these guns are getting decimated. This one is out of action, I think. This one still has a crew member. They were... They had three guns, right? I believe so. Okay. I have scout units. The reserves that I added to the T-50 formation. I could push them to this flank and help hold this forest. Make sure that enemies are not arriving in my flank. That's actually very important. So it's exactly what we'll do. Uh, you guys take up a defense there. Take up a defense there this unit down here. Uh, advance up to the tanks. Make sure that no enemies are sneaking up on them. The enemy has brought up an anti-tank battery next to the forest over there. Should have brought the tanks to the left side if I look at this. Could still pull them back. I could still pull them back. Well, I would prefer to knock out the enemy force in this forest, put flanking fire on these guns, rush them down with my tanks, 
and then smash the tanks into the enemy's flank here, or basically into their rear, to cause maximum confusion and panic. Oh crap. The enemy has flame for us. These silly men have flamethrower units in this forest. Oh my god. Yeah, my men are starting to panic a bit. I didn't lose many men, but still. They did not like that. This unit is retreating. Okay, the Maxim has picked up on the flamethrower and is engaging. Flamethrower units are thankfully quite small in numbers, so we should be able to take them out fairly easily. Who the hell are you? And what are you doing over there? On your own, okay. Never mind. Uh, this company here has more platoons that we can move forward now. Get them to this forest. Uh, let's have everybody mount up. Get in your trucks, I'll drive you to the forest. The situation near the cemetery is getting complicated. But my infantry is entrenched. They should be able to deal with enemies that are approaching across an open field. I hope they do, otherwise I will really need to send some tanks back. Which is definitely not what I want to do. Capture. Okay, some units have been captured, unfortunately. Allied units, it is. But my infantry is making their way into this forest, starting to clear it out. Guys, what's what's wrong with you? Most of you are in retreat. That's wrong with you. You took losses. Yeah. Most of you are definitely in retreat right now. But it's fine. It's fine. The next company is getting ready. Getting into their trucks. Come on, guys. Get in the trucks. Okay, there we go. You are inside the trucks. I will have you... I will have you go where, exactly? Go here. Don't open fire. And get in the damn trucks. There you go. There we go. Okay, they're on their way. I need them up here to help secure this forest. Would I, I would love to bring the Maxims to the edge of this forest here and have them engage the anti-tank guns across the open. Their machine gun fire can mess up these things. And I need that flanking fire if my tanks are to have a chance. Hmm. Speaking of having a chance, I need to bring tanks to the left side. These guys are in an excellent position to support a push here, but... I will lose the left flank if I don't bring them over. You guys. What will I do? Yeah, there's no other way. Go there. Go there. And go there. And with these orders given, 
we will end the video for this week. We will continue the battle next week. But these orders that I just gave, they set in motion a chain of events that in hindsight, well, it was pretty daring and fantastic, but let's just say mistakes were made. Terrible mistakes. And you will learn about those next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you are looking forward to the next one. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.